there's this culture where people think that just because you're on a dance floor, everyone is welcome to your body, everyone is welcome to touch you simply because you want to dance and it don't be like that. to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution guys don't wait until this flight takes off you gotta board you know like if you miss your boarding time block you gotta you can't catch the flight anymore right board right now click the subscribe button and let's fly together i am doing a story time we interrupt this program to bring you a special report so you may ask yourself then why is a bonita looking super tired and looking like a potato interfering with this other bonita who looks much better than this one that you're seeing right now well that's because i recorded this video a little while ago and uh, some of the footage went missing and so i current corona situation living bonita has to interject and um add a little bit of information and the first thing i want to say is that of course i want you guys to know there's some generalizations I use in this video like when I speak I'll say South Africans as a whole or Americans as a whole um, but I want you guys to understand I think it's pretty obvious but I just want to make it clear that although I may refer to Americans or South Africans there's no generalization that stands for a whole country a whole nation there's no stereotype there's no none of that so I want you guys to know that although I'm saying Americans or South Africans or whatever I'm saying that I am not talking about every single person in that country or in that place or whatever it is that i'm saying oh, so this is gonna be like a, a story time of my adventures in america or whatever right so this is what happened i was going to an international students ball right so what does that mean it means that at this ball it was asian it was the africans it was the the uh, the arabic peoples from like different schools and stuff so cool Guys, like we go to the ball, you know what I'm saying? Your girl's looking like a painting as always, you know what I'm saying? Now, we are on the dance floor. And guys, can I please tell you? So you know how we watch these American movies and like it's like step up and stuff and everyone is always dancing, doing these cool Chris Brown moves and all these nice things. Let me tell you something, it don't be like that. And I'm not saying it's not like that at all, but I'm saying that majority of the time, guys, Americans don't dance right like a lot of them don't dance all they do is grind and they think that's dancing because you know in south africa you're like yeah bro. yeah bro. <laughs> You know, you do the Russia, you do the things you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying like in south africa <laughs> you dance but in america for them grinding is what they consider dancing now we're going to an international ball so i'm expecting people to be dancing the africans they're gonna be dancing gonna be doing you know what i'm saying all oh, they dance from their countries you know like you know what i mean cool so now we get to the ball you girls on the dance floor i'm breaking it down like i'm actually dancing the other africans are dancing this one dude daddy long legs had these legs he was busy doing he was pulling them like hey the moves guys and there were these babes on the dance floor they were killing it and i'm with like my school like my circle of international students right so cool like we're in the middle of the circle we're doing the things we're dancing and then and then out of the blue out of nowhere here comes one demonic entity eh? from out of nowhere guys like i'm busy dancing yeah minding my own business as one does now i'm shame and here comes this one big boy right he creeps up behind me and he tries to like you know when someone like tries to like grind on you like soca, holy soca. Ha! Ha! guys my head turned like those possessed people in the movies you know like when they do that 360 turn like that that hurt now I'm saying, I turned around, I shot right up, like I stood up straight, I took my hand and I literally pushed, like I was like, boom, actually like did this, and his friends behind him were like trying to support him, and the other people there were just like, ooh, in my mind, I'm just like, get 
the behind well too late you're already there bruh the deep behind me satan you are an offense to me for you are not mindful of the things of god and i'm like listen everyone else on the dance floor is kicking it dancing doing their african things daddy long legs is there busy on those uncle dances and you decide that you want to be one pavat eh? look at you look at you does your mother know what you are doing eh should i call her now oh i did it <laughs> and let's talk about that guys can i just say that when you forcefully put your body on someone else you know that's that's sexual harassment like that's actually sexual harassment if you try to do the same thing not on the dance floor in the office or anywhere else in life do you realize that that's the case so why are we normalizing it on the dance floor it's one thing if you want it like if the girl is is, is doing it and the guy is doing it and you're both in agreement but if you're going to randomly go up to somebody and press your big man's body on them do you realize that that is sexual harassment that is sexual assault that is a crime you can go to jail and as someone who's not even from the country who's not from america you don't need to be catching a case okay but whether you're foreign or uh, whatever honestly there's this culture where people think that just because you're on a dance floor everyone is welcome to your body everyone is welcome to touch you simply because you want to dance and it don't be like that and one day you're gonna bang with the wrong one i'm gonna have to interject here too now i know that um when you go out that this whole grinding on people thing is like a norm you know it's for the culture for the good times for the vibes for the babies i personally do not stand this culture i don't agree with this culture um i don't i believe that honestly as people we have a right to go on the dance floor or go out as women we have a right to be out and not have men who feel like they're entitled to our bodies or that they have a right to our bodies because i think that's what this whole grinding thing does i think it teaches people i think it teaches men that not all men okay but it teaches a huge lot of people a huge amount of people that on the dance floor you have the right to anyone's body you can go touch anyone and i don't think i have to go into detail about why that's not exactly the best culture to have and how that can lead to rape culture i don't think i need to go into detail but i just want to add that you don't know what someone has been through when you go and you touch someone who never gave you their consent or permission to touch them you don't know what they've been through you don't know what memories you're triggering you don't know if maybe someone else touched them without their consent and and you coming to do it is going to trigger something within them so honestly I know that it's a norm, but I don't agree with that norm. I think it's unacceptable to say that you can just go touch people's children. Like that's not, that's not okay. Um, and I think if you're gonna do it, and you can just say, hello, can I dance with you? Can I, can we know, can we vibe? Instead of coming to throw your big body on someone, please. And big, I don't mean because you're big, even if it's, it's, a, it's a small body. Small body, big body, medium body, stop throwing your body on people. I don't agree with that culture. Although it seems harmless, it can be a bit more problematic. And maybe you guys think I'm being dramatic or I'm reading too much into it. But hey, man, I don't want people touching me. I don't want people coming to throw their bodies at me without invitation or consent. Like, hello. Don't, don't try to. Anyway, guys, the point I'm trying to make is that can you stop actually harassing people because you're on the dance floor it doesn't make it okay it's not cute it's creepy like just just stop not every female on the dance floor wants you all up on her thinks that you're all that honestly some of us just want to wash up and just want to dance have fun and bounce okay anyway that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos if you want more story times comment down below peace and love guys